Wow. I I can't believe it. I I never thought I'd be making this video. This this did not seem like it would ever happen. But it is. And I never thought I'd be so happy about it. Shenmue 3 finally finished. I've been waiting 20 years for this game. I, I never thought it would actually be reality, but here it is. I can hold it. I can play it. It's just such a happy day. It's just so sad because, well, something this cool and this unique and this unexpected is unlikely to ever happen again. Hey, honey. Did you know that Uber is showing the destination up front, letting drivers know that they will make each trip and adding a favorite driver feature? Wow, I stand corrected. Xbox, Twitter, Uber, Postmates, Monday. Netflix, Movie Pass, Lyft, Google, 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 eBay, DoorDash, Apple, Amazon, Airbnb, The Entrepreneur. Hey everyone, this is Kevin The Entrepreneur, and whoa, uh, this is going to be a big one. But hey, if this is your first time here and you happen to like this video, and this is by the way one of the more positive videos that we've actually done on this channel for a long time, please. Do me a favor, uh, subscribe below and ring that bell notification. I think the bell's that way. I should really look one time and find out exactly which way to point that the bell is. But yeah, ring the bell notification. We upload on a near daily basis. We talk about the gay economy, the streaming wars, e-commerce. Um, sometimes we talk about video games once in a while, um, which is Christmas time. I should really do that soon. So uh, anyway, yeah, uh, positive story. We do have Shenmue 3. Seriously. I can pick it up. It's on my shelf. I can... It's right there. This is my Kickstarter cover. And no, I know this is not what you actually want to come. I'm like, no, I'm, I'm going to stop with that joke, okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Uber, at least in California, is adding a lot of neat features. Like, these are great features. I'm not even going to lie. It is... So impressive what's happening in California right now with Uber, like in just this one blog post announcement that I really had to struggle to think of something bad about it. Uber is doing essentially what everyone has always wanted them to do. And we are definitely going to talk about that right after a word from our sponsors. And today's sponsor is gigworker.com. Gigworker.com is one of the leading gig economy information sites out there, and they need your help. Gigworker.com prides itself on not only providing great information for people who want to get into the gig economy, they are also one of the premier sources of driver satisfaction surveys for the media. Their survey results have been featured in articles for The Verge, The New York Times, and other big publications, and they could use your help in taking their 2019 driver survey. And they need to get a fast response, so if you can fill it out today, they'll send you $5 to your PayPal account for taking a three minute survey. It's so easy that even I can do it. Just click on the link below in the description, fill it out, share a screenshot of your last week's earnings from the Uber app and collect the money. Please be aware that you need a valid PayPal account to get paid. Check out the link below to make five bucks quick. Gigworker.com for all your gigs. So this is what is going to be referred to by me as the blog heard around the drivosphere. The driver's fear. Shoot, I messed that up. Oh well, we're going to keep it in because I'm just too happy I don't care right now. So, in all fairness, I didn't hear from the story from the blogosphere. I heard this because Harry Campbell from the Ride Chair Guy actually texted me and he said FYI and had a YouTube link. And then I saw Jay's video about this and uh, I watched it kind of like, oh! Like, I, I couldn't believe what I was watching. And then I saw this blog post and I couldn't believe what I was reading. Now, I know that everyone commented on this yesterday. I am clearly a day late. But let's, seriously, let's go over this because good news is worth hearing again and again. Don't you think? So anyway, to California drivers, keeping you in the driver's seat. That's an interesting way of putting it because here's the thing. Everything they do is to keep you in the driver's seat. Not make you more money, but keep you in the driver's seat. But again, there's a lot of great stuff here. So, there has been a lot of important debate about flexible work and what it means to drive with Uber in California. With the passage of new laws, so I believe that, look, they look. I don't even have to say I believe. 
It says it right there, based on new laws. They are referring to AB5. This is a response to AB5. So, if you are watching this video and you love these changes, if you think this is the greatest thing to happen to Uber in a while, guess what? Give yourselves a clap, a pat on the back, whatever. If you're one of these and if you joined the protests to help make AB5 happen, that has resulted in these changes. Now, if you oppose AB5 and like these changes, well, don't you feel silly? Well, anyway, I mean, yeah, I know. Says the guy wearing the Batman Santa hat. I know. But anyway, let's continue. So, we've been carefully considering how we could further protect your access and enhance the flexibility and transparency of the Uber platform going forward. It is important for you to know that come January 1st, you'll still be able to earn with Uber and when and where you want as your own boss. You've told us flexibility is the number one reason you choose Uber. I believe that's true. People certainly aren't choosing because you're pay good. The ability to work entirely on your own schedule, to leave or return to the platform whenever you want, to work on other platforms at the same time, and for each of those decisions to be fundamentally your own. But we've also heard from you that we can do more to improve the experience for drivers so you can reap the full independence of that platform can provide. So starting today, you'll see more information up front that will help you earn on your own terms. We'll also add new features to help you build your business on our platform. Now that is a key sentence right there because for a long time, Uber has been saying, this is a business. This is an independent contractor's business. We are just the arbiter, but it's not your business because you were bound by information you did not see and rules you did not control. Now these changes don't necessarily make you your own business. You are still at the mercy of Uber's deactivation policy, whatever that might be that week. However, I think this brings you just a little closer to actually being your own boss here. So here's the thing. Um, and in the coming months, we will also make the fair structure more straightforward so it's clear where your earnings and fees come from. Some of the changes are ones that many of you have suggested in the past, and some upcoming changes will take some time to get used to. Either way, we are confident that all the changes will make working with Uber work better for you. The following feature updates launch today and we will and will be fully available to all California drivers by mid-January. So it's starting out. Um, Jay in the rideshare guy video said about 30%. I, I don't know where he got that number. He he has higher connections than I do, though, so but let's say it's roughly 30% and then it will be 100% by mid-January. So you'll see trip information up front so you can make informed decisions. Now, this is the one, there's one part of this that has been making the rounds, but there's other parts of this that have not been getting as much attention, strangely enough. The thing that's been making the most rounds is that you're going to be able to see up front where you're going and how long the trip is going to be. So here's what the screenshot looks like. Um, as you can see, this trip starts at Citrus Alley in Dali City, and it goes to City Hall in San Francisco. It tells you it will be 20 minutes roughly, and it's 9.1 miles. That is a heck of a lot more information than we used to get. Here's what's also showing you, though. You might notice this little thing. It is telling you roughly how much money you can expect to get on this trip. And then, of course, you still have... The star grade. Amazingly, still no picture of the rider. I am amazed. Like Uber, you've been doing this for how many years and you haven't figured out put a picture of the passenger? But hey, you know what? Not complaining too much. This is a great, a great start. And in fact, in their words, by seeing your pickup, trip time, distance, destination, and fare up front, you'll know what you can expect to earn and where a trip will take you all before you accept on every trip. The dollar amount you see is the estimated amount you'll take home after Uber's service fee. If you accept the trip, your final earnings calculation will not change, and it is still based on the actual time and distance of the trip. This applies to all trips, including pool. Now, I don't know how it's going to apply to pool when usually pool automatically adds the next person into your queue. They might have to just remove that feature altogether. But some of you might be saying, well, we kind of have some of these features. If you are a Diamond Uber Pro driver, whatever the term is, I don't know what their reward system tier is, and you accept so many trips, you can see where you're going. But then, of course, if you go below a certain 
number of acceptances, then you lose that information, which makes it effectively worthless. Well, Uber's got you covered there too, because accept only the trips you want to take and your Uber Pro status won't be affected. This means that you can actually reject 80% of your rides. Heck, theoretically, you could reject 100% of your rides. And guess what? Uber Pro status, not going anywhere, not getting touched. That's amazing. That is absolutely amazing. I never thought they'd do that. Your acceptance rate will no longer affect your Uber Pro status and access to Uber Pro rewards. Uber Pro points, your driver star rating, and cancellation rate will still determine your status. So that's actually interesting. The cancellation rate is, they do highlight that. Um, but apparently, well, okay, cancellation rate, like, you know, cancel the, the rides. Yeah, that probably would, would. Don't, if you don't want to take a ride, don't accept it. Don't cancel it unless you absolutely have to. And remember, if you have a safety concern after arriving at the pickup location or your ride doesn't show up, your cancellation rate won't change. So, you know, positive. Now then, here's a feature I've wanted for a long, long time. This is enough to make me consider going back on the road. We're going to build more products to help you grow a business with Uber. Now, what is this picture right here? Um, can, like, is the, uh, there we go. What is this right here? Well, this is from a writer's perspective. You can see it has the ad, a tip for Timothy, and it's set, and you can favorite the person. And that means, like, for example, if they want to schedule a ride and they have, like, a particular person that they want to be picked up, I believe the algorithm will prioritize that person. Now, here's what's going. Um, you should be able to earn more by providing your customers with great service. Starting today, providing a five-star trip for your riders will create opportunity for more business later. After a five-star rating, your rider can now add you as a favorite. In early 2020, riders will be able to request their favorite drivers when scheduling a trip in advance, giving you the first opportunity to accept the reservation request as soon as the ride is scheduled. If you give a rider a one-star rating, you won't be matched on future rides. That is a great feature. I cannot tell you, when I was doing this, and some of you might laugh because you don't believe me when I say this, but I would say roughly 25 to 35% of my passengers asked, is there a way we can get you later? We really like you. You're good conversations, like the music, um, like the way that the car smells because I had the Febreze in there all the time. Uh, some people didn't like the Febreze, but you know, whatever. And they asked, can I favorite you in the app? You know what I did? I'd hand them a business card and say, give me a call later and I'll come pick you up and, you know, still do it through the app, but you know, that was the way to do it. But by doing it this way, hey, someone that I pick up, they like me, they say, add the favorite, then they want to schedule a ride. And then I'm given the opportunity, hey, this person favorited you and they want you to pick pick them up. This actually does create a relationship with the drivers and the passengers. I love it. This is amazing. I've never been so positive about, well, not never, but you know, I've, it's been a long time since I've been this positive. Now then, because I wouldn't be the entrepreneur if I didn't kind of look at this and see what's the downside to this? What's the suspicion of this? Well, there is one little thing I'm a little concerned about. Uh, this right here, I bet you they are definitely going to still be ripping off the passengers and the drivers with the fares because that's how they make their money. It might be easier to do so now, but I, I don't know. I, I'm liking these changes. But why are they doing it? Well, again, they said because of recent laws. Now, of course, I can't prove this, but I suspect this is AB5. And I've been telling people for a while, don't fear AB5 as much as you think you do. It doesn't mean drivers are going to become employees. It means Uber and Lyft have to make changes to their model to show that the drivers are still independent. And I highlight things like they don't have information like how much money they're going to earn for the trip. They don't have information about what the fare breakdown is. At least most of them, they've kind of been taken away, but now they're going to be bringing it back apparently. You can't favorite the drivers. Like there is nothing about this that is independent except getting on and off whenever you want. Uber is adding these features because they want to comply with AB5. They don't want their drivers to be employees. They want them to remain independent contractors. So they are swallowing their pride, at least until the election, because they will try to fight this. They will try to get something on the ballot to overturn this. And once they do, 
this will all go away. Mark my word if it passes. But in the meantime, they have to comply or leave or make their drivers employees. And so they have decided to comply. They are also fighting on the side, but they are going to comply. That is what they are doing. So here's the thing, Uber. This is all great. I'm not even going to say I recommend a little bit more. I mean, I wish you would go back to the surge multiplier, of course, for something other than short trips, because people are pointing out that the flat surge actually makes drivers more money on the short trip, so they were noticing the multiplier for short trips, so <laughs> screw you guys. But this is, this is nice. This is extremely nice. I don't know what's going to happen in the long run. Like, again, they are going to try to put the AB5... Um, fight like to get exempt from AB5 on the ballot and unfortunately I think it will pass if drivers aren't extremely vocal about how the passenger is getting screwed on this because passengers all they're going to see is higher prices if they don't pass this thing in the meantime these changes are coming they're welcome changes I'm pretty ecstatic about this I don't know about you hopefully they stick around but I'd like to know what all of you think does this make you happy are you going to consider going back to Uber a little bit? Like, what more could they do? Or do you think this is not enough? Do you think something about this you don't like? I'd love to know. Comment below. Like, favorite, share, subscribe. If you enjoy my videos, consider becoming a Patreon member. It's totally optional, of course. But even as little as $1 a month goes a long way to helping the channel run smoothly and you get access to my Patreon's exclusive blog. Also, if gas prices are getting just a little down, check out the GetUpside app below. It's totally free, but you get cash back on every gas purchase. If you want more content from me, check me out at Kevin T. Rodriguez, the Entrepreneur Vlogs, and Autograph Hound. And finally, if you want to talk to me or other fellow rideshare -right drivers about this, and there's a lot to talk about, check us out at the Entrepreneur Hangouts on Facebook. And as always, blame responsibly. Have a good one.